Hello there, in my previous video, I showed you how to make an advanced NRF remote controller using Arduino. Here in this video, I am going to show you how to make the receiver section. The brain of this receiver is an Admega 328 microcontroller and has a form factor of Arduino Uno. The main thing is, it has an inbuilt motor driver, so we can make RC project easily. So in this video, I am going to show you how I made this receiver. So let's get started this video. As always, I started by designing the circuit. I used Admega328 as the microcontroller and L293D as the motor driver. After designing the circuit, I converted the circuit into PCB and downloaded the Gerber file for fabrication. You can download the circuit diagram from the link given in the description. After downloading the Gerber file, I went to jlcpcb.com. I chose JLC PCB because they offer only $2 for 5 PCBs. To order, just click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading, select the quantity, solder mask color, etc. Then select the shipping method and place the order. After 2 weeks, I received the PCBs. Here you can see the PCBs, as always the quality is awesome and this purple color looks nice. Now I grabbed all components and cleaned the PCB. After that I started soldering. I started from SMD components. After finishing that I connected THT components. After one hour, I finished the soldering job and now the PCB looks like this. Now I connected the battery and test the voltage. After verification, I inserted the Admega 328 and L293D on its socket. Finally, I inserted the NRF module. For the first test, I connected a servo motor to one of the PW channel. Then I uploaded code to transmitter and receiver and now you can see the working. Remember to remove the motor driver from the socket while using the servo pins. In the next test, I connected two entity motors to the receiver. Then I updated the code. Now you can see the motor turning according to what the transmitter button states.
So our NRF transmitter and receiver making is a success story. So in the coming videos, I will make functional RC project using this transmitter and receiver. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. All up to you. I will see you next time.